Hello and welcome to the Lymphedema Book Club. My name is Kathleen Lisson. I'm a lymphedema therapist and we are in the last two chapters, chapters eight and nine of the book Stress Reduction for Lymphedema. I hope you have enjoyed reading this book and going through these videos with me. Um, chapter eight is mostly about community and the importance of being in community. Um, and with other people who know and understand lymphedema because they are dealing with it themselves. And chapter nine is the final thoughts. So I'll read a little bit of, of that chapter. Um, the goal of the book is to share the importance of understanding the why behind self-care that lymphedema therapists recommend for the clients. So, so many times, uh, you just know what it is, like you're supposed to wear socks, you're supposed to do self-massage, you're supposed to take care of your skin, but why are these stress reduction practices good for people with lymphedema? So that is the heart of the book. And then encouraging people with lymphedema to appreciate their own voice of lived experience and try the mindful interventions that have been shown to reduce stress. So really, uh, the, the reader is in the driver's seat with this book. Uh, there's a lot of, like I showed, step-by-step -step instructions. And try the mindfulness interventions and see which ones work for you. And then really focusing on the need for community. Um, our communities need more public conversations around the negative effects of toxic stress and about the opportunities for self-care. Our communities need more access to physical and mental health resources. Our communities need more access to green spaces. We looked at the importance of nature earlier in an earlier chapter. Our communities need more opportunities for community engagement. Our communities need more health experts that that can effectively spread awareness about lymphedema as well as stress reduction practices. Our communities need more research, more treatment resources, and more insurance coverage for lymphedema. And my, our communities need more inclusive sizing in clothes and shoes. And this mission can only be accomplished through connecting with others and working together as a community where all voices are heard and honored. And then at the end of the chapter is the two week gratitude journal. So I, uh, we look at tips for keeping a gratitude journal and then you actually have pages where you can start to actually have your gratitude journal beginning in this book. Um, and then if you get into that daily habit of keeping a gratitude journal, you can get a separate line notebook um, to be your permanent gratitude journal and see the effects that it's having um, on your stress levels. You can start with the one in the book. So uh, we've gone through the entire book, Stress Reduction for Lymphedema. I really hope that you enjoyed reading the book and that it gave you some ideas on inspiration and some new favorite uh, breathwork practices, movement practices, mindfulness practices that will help you control um, your body's reaction to the stressful events that go on in your life and hopefully help you um, in your journey of caring for your lymphedema. Thank you so much.